Hey folks, had a card show over the weekend and I've got some awesome pickups to share with you today. Before we get started, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. Your support for the channel is always appreciated. But before we get to the cards, let's go to the show. First stop of the day was this Price is Marked box. Picked up this DJ Moore. This is going to be a select die cut. Numbered out of 49. Excited to see how he does for the Bears this season. Next up with this Kayvon Thibodeau. National Treasures Collegiate. Numbered out of 99. Picked up this MJD. This is going to be a little something for the PC. Was excited to get that one. And then lastly, this Miguel Tejada. Going to be hand numbered out of 1000 $25 for the first table. I didn't think that was too bad. Next stop was this $5 auto box. Picked up this Patrick Wisdom. It's going to be a little something for the Cubs PC. Then I got this Bradley Chubb. This is going to be an XR, numbered out of 49. Then lastly, this Derek Stingley. This is going to be an on-card auto, out of 75. Found some really good deals in this $1 and $2 box. Definitely the highlight was the Prism Variation Jonathan Kaminga. But it's pretty cool to get a Kadarius Tony, Mac Jones, and Cade Cunningham out of here too. Not too bad for $9. Next stop was this dollar box or $25 for 20 cards. Really fun box to go through a lot of variety. Seeing some older rookies, some kind of mix of older and newer stuff. Pretty cool Mike Allstott. That's going to be numbered out of 150. Brandon Pettigrew Refractor as well. Geno Smith got a contract extension, so excited to see how he does next year. Kind of an oddball numbering on this Priest Holmes out of 138. Probably the best card out of that pickup was that Brian Dawkins rookie. Just doesn't have a lot of rookies. But what was pretty cool is some of the older basketball stuff was in really good shape. A few more Geno Smith tops Chrome rookies there. But yeah, like you're going to see with this Wes Unseld, got a couple of these. Really nice shape for a card that's approaching 50 years old. Also too, pretty cool Rick Barry there as well. Something I was really excited about was these Gerard Mayo Topped Chrome Refractors. He had some buzz for head coaching positions last year, so that was pretty cool. Then we got some Lions stuff. I had to pick up some PC stuff as well. That Kyle Van Noy, going to be a Prism rookie out of 125. A Joey Harrington, which, you know, I didn't expect to pick up any Joey Harrington stuff, but cool refractor. And then a guy I liked a lot growing up was Deuce Staley. A couple numbered parallels, uh, Topps Chrome and Bowman Chrome. 25 cards for $20. I thought that was a pretty good bargain. I was able to pick up a few more cards too that were off camera, but I'll do my best to go through them here. I found a 50 cent box with some pretty solid rookies in there. For starters, we had the uh, Gridiron Kings Desmond Ritter. See how he does with the Falcons this year. Uh, quite a few rookies and stars. Bailey Zappi, Sam Howell, another Bailey Zappi. A lot of quarterbacks there. Also, Garrett Wilson, definitely a solid pickup for 50 cents. Another Desmond. Can be a green Bailey Zappi. That is out of absolute. Little card for the PC, a Panay Sewell. That is going to be a really cool color match, that blue scope. And then the last card was a green Amon Ross St. Brown out of Rookies and Stars. Next up was a dollar box that had a lot of good value in it. First up is going to be a 
Sapphire, James Woods, not a first Bowman, but really highly ranked prospect. I thought you couldn't miss on that for a dollar. Another really solid one is George Valera. I think he's going to have a chance to see the major leagues this year. But the Mojo, first Bowman, definitely a good pickup for a dollar. Joshua Baez, another solid one. Then another solid card. I noticed the parallel. Definitely had to pick this one up. Going to be a fluorescent orange DeLon Wright. Numbered out of 25. It's going to be one of those cards that helps somebody build a rainbow. Don't pick up a lot of Chronicles stuff, but Joe Burrow for a buck. Yeah, that's no problem. Got uh, Mosaic Pink, T. Higgins. Dollar for that one, absolutely. A red, white, and blue Kelton Johnson. We'll see how he plays with Victor Wapanyama. The Spurs won the lottery, so that's a pretty interesting card to find. And then lastly is something I really wasn't expecting to pick up. It is going to be a super short print, Prism Red. Jalen Johnson. I think they said the print runs on these are under 10, but finding the super short print retail, that's a really solid card for a dollar. I couldn't be happier with that. Then our last stop of the card show was probably one of the better quarter boxes you are going to find. Ended up picking up a ton of stuff out of it. We'll go ahead and get started. First up was three blue velocity Nicholas Claxtons. Quarter piece, you betcha. And I think you guys are going to kind of notice a trend. There is a lot of prism parallels, uh, optic parallels in here. A couple of the pink hypers of Claxton as well. Got a red, white, and blue. Ended up with a couple RJ Barrett's. Not sure how most Knicks fans feel about them, but a quarter a piece, absolutely. A Jalen Noel, red, white, and blue. Really good card here. Jonathan Kaminga, that's going to be a silver emergent. And next up, a Topps Chrome base, Nico Horner rookie. 25 cents as a Cubs fan. Yeah, you betcha. Um, probably one of the more surprising cards to find in there was going to be the Liftoff Rui Hachimura out of Revolution. That is not numbered, but it's a very cool insert. Had a pretty solid postseason with the Lakers. Ended up with a Van Jefferson Optic Hollow. See how he does this year. Karis Levert Orange Laser. A couple of really solid ones, a couple of Jordan Alvarez rookies, uh, both the opening day and the top space. A Malcolm Brogdon Mosaic, that's going to be a rookie. Probably the best core card out of there was going to be the Malcolm Brogdon. This is going to be an Optic Hollow. Did not expect to find that one for a quarter. Cameron Johnson, pink. Danalo Ban Red Ice, really solid color match for that one. A Trey Sweeney, don't know a lot about him, but first Bowman for the Yankees. Really solid Juan Soto pink. A fairly early Bowman Ronald Acuna. That's going to be the Chrome. Another Mojo, that is going to be a Xavier Edwards. Then a Nick Madrigal, that's going to be the Purple. Not a big card, but that's just a cool one for the Cubs PC. Joel Embiid Purple for a quarter. Mike Soraka. Jose Devers, another first Bowman. Gil Alexander Walker, red, white, and blue. Silver Brandon Clark. Cody Martin. Very cool parallel for that out of select. A couple older optic cards, uh, Nick Chubb and then a Michael Gallup. Jake Fromm, silver, quarterback prism for a quarter. Yeah, you betcha. Denzel Mims, uh, that is going to be the orange ice. He is still with the Jets. Let's see how he does this year. Travis Fulgham, red ice. Irv Smith. Lavishka Chenault. And then Montez Sweat. There's definitely going to be some of them that are better than others, but for $10 worth of quarter cards... I thought that was a pretty good deal. But folks, that is everything I picked up at the card show. Do me a favor, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and like the video and subscribe. Always appreciate the support, and I hope you folks have a great 
rest of your day.